Hi there. Welcome to this Unity tutorial series where we're going to create a 3D Sokoban game step by step. If you've ever wanted to build a fun puzzle game where players push boxes to specific targets, you're in the right place. We'll cover everything from setting up your scene to implementing the core mechanics, so let's get started. To follow along, you don't need to be an expert in Unity or have advanced C Sharp knowledge. Familiarity with the Unity editor and basic C Sharp concepts will be helpful but you don't need to be highly skilled to follow the tutorial. A basic understanding will go a long way. That said, we won't be covering fundamental topics like the Unity interface, basic scripting, or general C-sharp concepts. If you're new to these, I recommend checking out some introductory tutorials first. In this first episode, we will first set up our Unity project. Open Unity and create a new empty project. Give it a name. I'll call mine Sokoban 3D. I am using Unity version 2022.3, but the version you use doesn't matter. Since our work doesn't rely on any version-specific features of Unity, feel free to use whichever version you have installed. I rename the scene to game instead of sample scene. Once you're in, let's organize the project by creating some folders for scripts, prefabs, and materials. This will help keep our project nice and tidy. Pause any time you like, if it's gonna fast for you. All right, this looks good. Now let's add a ground and player to the scene. We will be adding a 3D plane for the ground and a 3D cube for the player to start with. I'll resize the ground plane to 3x3 three three to make it slightly bigger. I'll also adjust the camera settings to capture the playfield at a 45 degree angle. We can fine tune these settings later to find the best fit for our game as we move along. To make the ground stand out and prevent it from blending with other objects, I'll add a material to it and choose a distinct color. This will help keep the scene clear and visually organized as we add more elements. This will do for now. Now let's add the player object by selecting a 3D cube to start with. We can change it to a 3D character later if we prefer. For now, this will work to visually represent the player in the scene. As you can see, half of the object is below the ground, so I'll adjust its position by changing the y-axis value to 0.5, which is half the height of the object. This will lift it above the ground and ensure it's fully visible. Our player object has a box collider attached to it, which is fine. We also need to add a rigid body to enable physics interactions, such as movement and collisions. We'll enable kinematics for the rigid body, so let's check that option. Additionally, we'll uncheck the gravity option since we won't be using it in this setup. Kinematics is used because we'll be handling the movement manually. Now, we need to create another material for the player. Let's create the material and assign it to the player object in the scene by simply dragging it onto the player. I'll select a blue color for the player. This looks good. Everything seems to be in place for the player. Next, we'll add a script for the player. While we could attach the script directly to the player object, I prefer to create the script first and place it in the appropriate folder. Once it's organized, I'll add it to the player object in the scene. Just drag the player controller script to the player object in the inspector. Double click on the script to open it in your preferred code editor. I use Visual Studio for code editing, but you might be using Visual Studio Code. IntelliJ Writer, or even a basic editor like Notepad. The choice is yours and doesn't matter for this project. 
simply follow along and feel free to pause at any time if things are moving too quickly. In Sokoban, player movement is grid-based, and that's exactly what we'll be implementing in the next episode of the series. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming episodes.